You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Jamie Costello with your news headlines right now. Maryland's positivity rate is back up nearly 5%. Uh, that's the highest we have seen since April. Just two months ago, it was near half a percent. Other numbers are rising as well, but we want to put the data in perspective for you. Like the hospitalizations, they're up, as are the ICU cases, but they're nearly half of what they were the last time a rate was this high. So at that point back in April, nearly 1,200 were in the hospital with almost 200 in the ICU. So while there are cases and the hospitalizations, you see the numbers rising, we are not seeing the surge that we saw in the spring. And the rising rates mean that Garth Brooks isn't coming to Baltimore. Garth has canceled his concert here at M&T Bank Stadium, along with dates at four other outdoor cities. Uh, the show here was set for October. Now, if you bought a ticket, master ticket, you're going to get issued a refund. You don't have to do anything. They'll send it back to you. And Garth says he's hopeful he'll be back in Baltimore sometime next year. Anne Arundel County Police are looking for information in a hit and run that critically injured a woman. It happened around 4.30 Thursday morning on Crane Highway right near Crawford Boulevard in Crofton. Police say the 25-year-old woman was hit by multiple cars, which all left the scene. There's only a description of one vehicle. It's believed to be a 1999, maybe a 2007 Ford Super Duty truck van that is missing its driver's side mirror. We are looking mainly dry as we head into your Thursday. Unfortunately, it is going to be a bit warm, a little sticky, a little humid, and that means that we're going to be talking about heat indices. I don't think they're going to get to triple digits, but it is going to feel substantially warmer than the actual air temperature. We climb into the upper 80s for most of the afternoon, topping out near 91, but those feel like numbers are going to be in the mid to upper 90s, and I expect a better chance for showers and thunderstorms as we head towards your Friday and Saturday. A southerly flow really takes over. I'm not expecting another dry day until next Tuesday, where daytime highs hover near 90 through next Wednesday. All right, Patrick, click with us online at WMER2news.com for updates all day long on top stories and breaking news. And if you're out there on the run, you can get news and weather right there. All you have to do is download the WMER2 News app in the App Store. Very simple. All right, thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMER2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.